I did no-till uh, like that for 12 years before I ever even heard the words no-till. I'm just being honest, you know. So we've been doing, I was like, yeah, we went to uh, Vegas and we heard some conferences, you know, legalization was happening and we're like, okay, we should kind of come out of the woods and actually, go, you know, see what's going on out in the, the world. We met some people, you know, whatever, saw all these talks and in every talk, honestly, it was like they just kind of were like flailing. They didn't know how to grow weed where we were growing weed, so, you but know. They were talk but that... Is that where we first heard the word regenerative? You know, no, like no the, till. We oh, heard no, no till, till and right, I was like, no till. and on driving home, I was like, Seek, I think I we're doing no till. That. I think we're doing no <laughs> till, guys. Yeah, I think, I think we're doing no till. Yeah, right on. And then we started, that's how kind of how the, the, the no <laughs> till micro remediated subterranean, or no, it was no till micro remediated light depth, you know, started rolling wheels, you know, that, that whole shit started rolling. some super low-tech high-tech low-tech so we call these a cannabis drip staple I just made that up right now because they replace the common staple drip staple which is full of heavy metals that leach into your soil which you know with California standards of testing it's good to get rid of anything metal it holds the drip in place plus it decomposes composting its own nutrition back into the cannabis plant exactly what the cannabis plant wants its own its own foliage Yep, so there you go. Super simple. Jadam. Jadam. Some of our living soil right here from our pit, which we'll go over to. So this is like our uh, decade old soil that we moved over here because we were just expanding this greenhouse a little bit. We try to prune to and plant as much as possible, you know, with the phases of the moon that correlate to, you know, those activities, you know, a flowering moon or like a moon where the, you want the roots to go into the earth or you want the flowers to go up and the plant to come up, you know. So it's a varying thing depending on your goal. This clay can hold a lot of water, so you really need to add a lot of organic material to these clay soils. The clay soil can be really hard to work with, or it can really give you a lot of benefit if you know how to work with it. Because it's basically just full of nutrients, so basically if you can figure out how to release it, you have free nutrients forever. These plants are so healthy, man. Yeah, the soil is so alive. It'll. It, that's why the plants do good because I'm not feeding the plants, I'm feeding the soil. When you get that and you just roll with that program and you just feed the soil, you don't really think about the plants. You think about microorganisms and the soil health. Then the plants, you don't have to really, you know, worry about them because you're taking care of them. Our transplanting technology is like the Jadam style, basically, water the soil before you transplant like down low so you have your hole your bed or whatever watching the percolation like rate of the of the soil looking at the dissolved oxygen that way when you put the plant in there it's moist that way the biology can just like get right to work We grow potatoes in here. Potato plants are my soil moisture meter. I don't have no moisture meters. I use potatoes. And I just read the potato plant and I'm like, oh, it needs more water. It really is an indicator of the moisture content in the soil. It really tells me, no, it's really dry. I look at that and I'm like, oh, is it dry? No, the potato's like, it's, it's good, bro. I'm like, all right, okay. Or it's like, no, it's really dry. It's like the potato agrees with me. Yeah, they're just perfect. And then we have potatoes, which we use to make JMS, which is Jadam Microbial Solution. So we grow our potatoes right here. We make JMS out of it, which is feeding microbes back into the soil. It's just uh, closing those loops. And you yeah. eat some potatoes? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. They get huge in here. We grow like these monster potatoes in here. Soon we'll have our own worm beds, you know. We'll 
have spirulina, we're going to have, we're, uh, have some fish because we don't want to use the fish from the ocean because we don't feel like it's clean enough to use. So your inputs are super important. So your liquid nutrients are literally water soluble minerals in water with salt, right? So that it can be directly uptake by the root. What happens when you add bottled nutrients to a soil that has living soil? So imagine you have all of these little workers in your soil and they're doing their job, breaking down all the, the native microbes that are in your soil or your media. And then you just add this whole like, let's just put it as what it really is. You pour an energy drink on it. And now that plant has all of these water soluble nutrients. And now all of these basically workers are out of work. They're not doing anything anymore. Their job is done for them for like an amount of time until all of that nutrient solution leaves the area. And like I said, it's a fight pit. So all these different microbes are just, you know, like now, oh, now there's no food. There's nothing, I don't need to eat that mineral. I'll just eat you. And it just completely destroys your soil basically. Like, you know, obviously this is dependent on what nutrient solution you're using, but most of them are pretty bad for a living soil system. Like if you want your stuff to be organic, do it organic, like by the book. That's one of the things that we always want to be doing is voting with our dollars and making sure that our dollars exactly. are going to sustainable people for practicing sustainable practices. So like, you know, like everybody needs to just stop polluting the earth and exactly. do more natural stuff because it's cheaper, it's easier and it works. And it works just as well as anything else. <laughs>